Hi, welcome. Hearty welcome to you. In the last session, we have started hyperbolic functions and briefly looked at hyperbolic functions. And we observed or understood that hyperbolic cos of x, where x is a hyperbolic angle, is given by e power x plus e power minus x by 2. And hyperbolic sine of x is given by e power x minus e power x minus e power minus x by 2. Now, in this session, we'll look into the graphs of sine, cos and tan hyperbolic functions and try to understand what is the domain and range of these functions. So, let's start. Let us say we'll take them one after other. So, I'll say this equal to sine. Let us say this is sine. We'll use this for sine. We'll use this for cos and we we'll have tan here. Okay. Now we have already the information that what is uh, hyperbolic sine of x, so we can go ahead and do that. Okay. Now we know that sine of hx is equal to e power x minus, <coughs> excuse me, bear with me, my I'm having a bit of cold but I don't want to discontinue. So, if you multiply with e power x both numerator and denominator, you will have e power 2x minus 1 by 2. So, that's how you will have hyperbolic sine. Similarly, you will have cos of hyperbolic or cos hx. If you multiply by e power x, that is, uh, first let's write it, e power x plus e power minus x by 2. If you multiply, it becomes e power 2x plus 1 by 2. Okay. Now, let's come back to the hyperbola of sine and we will see what are the different values and how it behaves. Let us say first x equal to 0. If I say x equal to 0, that gives me <coughs> y equal to hyperbola of sine x equal to e power 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, x equal to 0, y equal to 0. If I put x equal to 1, let us see what is the value and also we will see what is the value if it x equal to 2. Okay. If x equal to 1, what I will have? If x equal to 1, I will have e square minus 1 by 2 e power x. Correct? We just missed 1 e power x here. Because when you are multiplying both numerator and denominator, you will have another one. If x equal to 1, what will be the value here? The value will be e square y equal to e square minus 1 by 2e. e is 2.7, so it is something like 7.3 minus 1 by 5.4. 6.4 by 5.3, that is around 1.2. So, the values I have now, x equal to 0, y equal to 0, x equal to 1, y equal to 1.2 and we know that sin is a odd function if x equal to minus 1 I will have negative value of this that means it will be minus of 1.2 let us do one more let us say x equal to 2 if x equal to 2 y equal to e power 4 minus 1 by 2e square. Just simple substitution. e square is 7.3. So, I will take e power 4 as approximately 53 or 54 divided by 2 into e square. e square is 7.3. So, this is 14.6. 52 by 14.6. I am just only trying to approximately guess what is the value. That comes around 5.3, sorry 3.5 or something. So, I will go for 3, 4, somewhere here that will be the value. Similarly, if I come down 4, 2, 3, 3.5, something like that. So, this is how the graph looks like. Let us try to draw this. It may not be exact, but I just want to Maybe it will come like this. I am not sure. 
similarly also you will have something like that this is how your hyperbola of sin x looks like these points are whatever the points we have observed <coughs> now let's go to the hyperbolic cos <coughs> excuse me hyperbolic of cos if I take x equal to 0 x equal to 0 e power 0 is 1 1 plus 1 by 2 into e power 0 is 1 that's nothing but 1 so x equal to 0 y equal to 1 we got one point let's go back to now x equal to 1 if x equal to 1 y equal to e power 2 e square plus 1 by 2 e e square plus 1 by 2 e e square is 7.3 plus 1 is 8.3 by 2 5.4 2 e I am just doing the calculation nothing just trying to find out what is that so that comes around 1.56 so it will be somewhere like this similarly here also I will have the same value why because even functions are symmetric about the axis so now let us look for what is the value of x equal to 2 if I go for x equal to 2 y equal to 2 2s are 4 e power 4 plus 1 by 2 e square that is nothing but e square is 7.3 so e power 4 I will take it as 53 54 plus 1 by 2 into 7.3 14.655 so that is around 14.6 43.8 3.8 3 3.8 <coughs> will come somewhere here 2, 3, 4, 3.8 let us say somewhere here so similarly I will have it here now I can draw this parabola this is of approximately we are more interested in understanding how the behavior is than exactly drawing the figure so now by this I know that y will not have any values less than 1 see that is the interesting part of it we will come back to that now let us move to tan what is the definition of tan tan of hyperbolic x equal to sin e power x minus e power minus x by hyperbolic cos x that is e power x plus e power minus x because 2 2 cancels out this is nothing but e power 2 x minus 1 by e power 2 x plus 1 perfect now if I take x equal to 0 if I take x equal to 0 what happens x equal to 0 gives me 1 minus 1 by something that is nothing but 0 so x equal to 0 I have 0 if I go for x equal to 1 let us see what happens if I take x equal to 1 so let us say x equal to 1 then y equal to e square minus 1 by e square plus 1 that is how it goes we know that e square is 7.3 so this is nothing but this is nothing but equal to e square minus 1 that is 6.3 divided by 8.3 that comes around 0.76 or let us say approximately 0.7576 so if it is 1 if it is 1 it is 0.75 1 it is 0.75 we know that this function is odd function so negative value will have minus 1 will have exactly the same value 0.75 let us put it there 0 0.75 ok and let us check for x equal to 2 if I take x equal to 2 y equal to e power 4 minus 1 by e power 4 plus 1 that is nothing but e square is 7.3 
e square is 7.3 so 54 let us say this becomes 53 by 55 you can see that that's approximately equal to 1 55.9 so you can see that the value is approximately equal to 1 so something like this and if I go for 2 the value is approximately like that and now let us do a little bit of analysis if x becomes bi more and more more becomes big value if suppose let us say x equal to 4 then e power 8 minus 1 by e power 8 plus 1 it can never be equal to 1 because you are subtracting 1 and you are adding 1 here but you will see that it tends towards 1 and it cannot be more than 1 okay so we have a limitation that it will never cross the value of 1 it will never cross the value of 1 how, how the curve looks like the curve looks like this oops and it will never touch 1 but it will go towards 1 it will never touch 1 because you are subtracting 1 and adding 1 it will can never become 1 but it will be moving towards 1 ok so that's how hyperbolic of tan looks like now let's have one interesting observation here if you look at hyperbolic of sin you see that for different values of x ok you have different values of y first let's look at the domain domain what's the domain of this there are no restrictions on x i can have all the values so i'll say domain is r what is the range of this range is also r you can see that all the values whatever the values you can t it can take all the values so the range is also r now let's and uh, let's come back to here hyperbolic of cos what is the domain domain is r i can give all the values i see that it goes to infinite this direction that direction now this is interesting what is range range is not less than one it is one or more than one so square brackets which says inclusive of one and it will go up to infinity in the positive direction and we don't know when it will reach infinity so it's excluding infinity towards infinity so you can see that y values are always moving up there are no y values here so the range is 1 comma infinity let's come to tan one more interesting stuff so tan what's the domain domain I can have any values so it's a range r domain range is domain is r what is the range what is the range range you can see will not exceed 1 negative 1 and 1 it will be between negative 1 and 1 so it will be negative 1 and 1 can you tell me why I haven't put the square brackets because it will never be equal to 1 it will it will as much as possible but there will be always a little bit of difference so that is exclusive of negative 1 and 1 all the values between minus 1 to 1 is your ro range of hyperbolic of tan x let's come back one more interesting now let us look at whether these functions can be in can be made as inverse can we make have inverse of these functions if i look at x i have different values of y that means this is a bijection this is inversible i can directly go ahead and make an inverse of it i can have an inverse function of it if i look at cos i see that it's a symmetric that means even function right even function for x equal to positive or negative will have the same values that means it cannot be inverse but what i can do i can take only half of it i can take only half of it domain from zero to infinity i can restrict the domain to zero to infinity then i can make it as a 
inverse function and if you look at tan tan you can see for different values of x the y values are different so it is also inversible so that's briefly about the graphs of sin cos and tan in the next video we will look at the graphs of cosecant secant and cot thanks for visiting bye for now